So here we are today out in the Mojave Desert, uh, getting a little muddy and a little dirty as you can see. And uh, also we're trying out a product that we purchased from DinoJet. Almost every time you go on a UTV website right now, somebody's advertising some type of a tuner, programmer, or a flash for your UTV to give it more horsepower. Uh, that's always made me a little nervous. I don't know exactly what all that programmer's doing to my machine, whether or not I need an exhaust, whether or not I need a clutch kit, how dependable will the machine be? So this year over at the King of Hammers race, we were walking around the vendor area of Hammertown and we ran into the guys from DinoJet. Uh, start talking to them a little bit, telling them my concerns about programmers, what I don't know really what they do or not do. Uh, start talking with Chuck there. Chuck told me that DinoJet's been around for a long time. I know that to be the truth. I purchased fuel programmers from them years back for motorcycles. Chuck assured me that DynaJet wouldn't do anything to a machine that would hurt it because they valued their good reputation for so long. He thoroughly explained to me what it was going to do to my razor. Uh, a little boost, remapping of the throttle positioning system, and uh, the, the fan that keeps the engine cool would come on at a cooler temperature, resulting in lower operating temperatures of my engine. Chuck and Trevor and Matt were nice enough to uh, set us up with the vision programmer that we needed and even programmed our cars for us. The throttle positioning system on a Razor, the mapping of that gas pedal is horrible. Uh, it's either all or nothing. Loading it in a trailer, I try to give it a little gas. Uh, nothing would happen. You give it a little more, it's a large jolt forward. After Chuck programmed my machine with the DynaJet uh, product, that has gone away. A little throttle is a little movement. To me, that right there is worth the money I spent on the programmer. Uh, Trevor and Chuck explained everything thoroughly, showed us how to work them. The guys were great. We've programmed a Turbo 1000 and a 1000 Polaris. Both of us love the results. Uh, no issues, no problems, great product. Uh, Matt was real good about explaining to us the procedure of uh, programming them and walking us through it. Chuck went over everything again while we were actually having them program the car. Trevor as well. Great company. Uh, lots and lots of information comes with the programmer. I recommend it. It's, a, it's well spent money and it kind of woke my machine up but also kind of smoothed out those rough edges. Yeah. It was going to be like two So Bruce, when we had uh, met the guys at King of Hammers from DinoJet, they gave us some expectations and said it would be different on the 1000 versus the 1000 Turbo. And now that it's been installed on your 1000, what did you notice different? Better response. Uh, throttle response? Better throttle response. I mean, it's doing really well. Uh, I overall it's a big improvement for this. I it said it probably won't be that much. No, it's a big improvement. What did it do to your throttle positioning the way your accelerator works? I know he talked to us about that. No more bouncing around, it's just smooth. So it got rid of that jerky at, yeah. at takeoff trying to put it in the trailer, it's not Absolutely. jerky anymore. And, and uh, did you notice the fan coming on earlier? Fan like he comes told us? on earlier, the car is cooler. So, uh, was it worth the money? Oh yeah. Okay. And worth then you the still money. have the ability that if you change to a different exhaust or you can go on their website and download different programs. Anything I want to do to this, I can still use the same programmer. All I have to do is get the, the software that I need and I can get it all online at their website, DinoJet, and it takes care of everything. It, 
tune the exhaust or whatever I want to add to the car. Now when he gave us the uh, programmer it could also work out as uh, like an instrument cluster and put it on the dash and we could program it for various information like turbo boost or engine temperature or RPMs. Do you think you'll utilize that or? I don't know that I will. I mean, I know a lot of people, they do put them on the dash. They install it right above the steering wheel or right in that area. But, you know, and I don't think I need it. Uh, if I was turboed, maybe. But I don't I don't really think I need it. If I want to install it, I can. It's an option. It's just plug and play. Just plug it, it is in. plug and, and play. Okay. All right. Well, that's, um, we'll let you know how it works out on my turbo. And uh, we'll... Uh, we're not looking to soup these things up where we start breaking parts or become, you know, not dependable out on the trail anymore. A uh, guy at Dynajet, he just said he could wake it up, and I feel like that's what he did. It doesn't feel like it's uh, a power gain that's going to break something or make something wear out. It's noticeable, uh, but not extremely different. It's uh, a nice comfortable, noticeable difference.